Hi, my friend. Today I'm going to show you how to change the cartridge. So, uh, before you change the cartridge, you need multiple tools. Uh, you need this wrench to uh, take this out. Uh, you need um, this is optional if you have this one. So this one is to pull pull the old one outside because it's too hard. Um, and you need to take a picture for the old one so you know how to take it out. And you, you need the small one. Yeah, you need a small, you need this set. I think uh, uh, each one the size is different, so uh, I had to try, I forgot if it's 3 over 32 or not. Uh, you need a, uh, you need a small tool, very small tool to pull out, uh, to pull out the, the seal and spring out. So you push it down so you can turn, you can open and uh, close the water. So I already used a uh, knife again, uh, suck out all the water already. So now it's dry. I had to look at uh, the old position to see. So if the position you bought is not fitting this way, you can fix. Uh, this piece is fixed, this piece is put here. You have to make it exactly um, because uh, you see um, how actual piece it, it go this side. The flat, you see the flat side, like this, the the flat side, yeah, the flat side I have to, uh, to match where it is missing. So here it has to be flat. So here, so when you uh, took out, you have to exactly uh, match the position. Otherwise, uh, you close this way so the wall has no space. So this way you can open, close, open, close. You can exactly match, match the white piece at the mantle. You see the missing part is facing this way. So now everything in the position, uh, the seal is in the position. When you push it down, you make sure it's smooth, smooth, and make sure you push push it down. It can go down all the way. So make sure you can go down. So on left, right. If not, go down. It's not good. You have to make sure it can go down all the way in. That way, uh, when you screw down, everything can fit. Let me put my phone somewhere. As long as you push all the way down, you can see they have no big gap. That means when you put this part on, so we are tied down. So um, when you put this part, the handle over, we have no gap here. Otherwise, we have a gap. 
so now looks good so i can place this uh, make sure you have to do two hands make sure uh, it's easy um, what i'm trying to say um, make sure um, the position is good so i see if my phone can stay like that my phone can stay like that oh my phone please okay you can see okay so use two hands um make sure you use your hand you push down and you twist a little bit just twist a little bit make sure underneath is going so what i'm trying to see you have to make sure uh, the thread is go down uh, nicely and not twinkled uh, i want to put this just take a try to see open close it not go this direction not go to the wall is clockwise counterclockwise so it's good so now you can remove that and now just push hard use your hand try to squeeze to tie up so remember I took a picture already so you always compare the picture so it can go all the way down so when you twist it, make sure not um, give it too much torque. So normally uh, you, you use a uh, map again to hold it to make sure not rubber but did not work uh, work well use a napkin too smoothly so when you close it turn this way and I try here it did not let me turn so let me try Try this, did not let me turn. You have the word, yeah. So, do not um, make it hard. If the wrench can turn easily, you go. If not, you change the teeth. You see the gap, how much, um, how much gap between here and here. See this cannot turn, then don't use this one. 
We found another teeth. So this distance I already um, make it fix. I want to put this on the top. How little gap. The good thing about this, you can open, you can close. So when you buy this, you have to read the distance that one inch. Yeah, I think the maximum is yeah over one inch. Yeah, they said it one inch at eighth. One inch at one eighth. I think this is fine. You can buy a big one also. Yeah, probably. Um, Probably okay. Yeah, this is the big one. I did not open it. Probably work well. You now have less gap. Since this not rusted, I, I can try one more. So you go this direction is for right side here. You go this direction, go inside, you are closing. When you are open, you go outside, go outside. I think for this side, maybe opposite. So you turn, turn in, close, turn out, open. Probably this will probably close, open. I was thinking this way, but you always can try, try to figure out. And now I cannot do it. Try this. Yeah, I cannot turn normal. I think fix. I don't want to overturn it because we will break the thread. Oh, okay. Wow, good. No gap. So I think probably good. When you cannot turn, only use little pound. Do not try hard. If you, when you turn, cannot turn, just stop. Those called 
see this outside so if you forget you should turn in or turn out so you turn when you turn you can see it go in or go out Oh yeah. You, you you turn this way you are you are closing. See? This closing. The screw is going inside. So when you turn make sure do not use one hand. Because I'm making the video. You use your two hands so the thread will be uh will be good so you when, when you do that you, one hand you push down so make sure uh, they are level up do not use one hand you put this long so this way we are not disturbed here it's just like clock yeah, you turn. If you cannot turn no more, let me finish. Yeah, I cannot turn no more. So I think um, this have the water dripping issue. Um, let me see. Yeah, this one. This one I can turn here, turn here, turn here, turn here. But this one, I only can turn half. Probably need some oil, uh, MD40 oil. So now let me open it. Uh, make sure you clean this up uh, and keep them somewhere. So in the future, uh, you will know where you turn. Uh, yeah, I don't want to keep this box no more. Don't want to hurt myself. So let's turn the water uh, to see if it works or not. So there are two lines. This is hot water. Uh, this is cold water. So when you make horizontal, that means the water close. When you um, parallel line up, that means the water is is open. So now it's like horizontal. Let's open. <laughs> It needs a lot of torques. It's not easy to open. It's, it's not easy to, to open it. It's very hard. You know, I'm going to open the hot water first. Oh, you know, I do not have enough energy. <coughs> open that hot water. Let's open the hot water first. Now I close it. I want to see the dripping or not. Because I open the hot water, I like close the hot water. So 
so no dripping. So the hot water is fine. I already test before I did that. I closed the valve. Oh, really hard to open. Who is going to help me? I probably need a two hand. Let's try two hand. Sorry. Uh. Two hand I cannot open. Probably did not eat enough food. No energy. <laughs> I'm going to call somewhere, help me open. But I think fix already. Hello. Can you help me open the well? I'm taking video now, quickly. I close it very hardly. Now I just cannot open it. But no more dripping water. 